Send pics of your private parts? Georgia says it's legal. Give an unlicensed tour of the nation's capital and you could find yourself in the slammer. I'm Amy Holmes bringing you the hot list of some of the weird and wacky things that will get you busted by the law. On Monday, the Georgia State Supreme Court ruled that a man who sent unsolicited photos of his tattooed privates was allowed to do so under the state's pre-internet dictates. Turns out snail mail rules have not caught up with the new electronic frontier in the Peach State. But attempt to conduct an unlicensed tour of Washington, D.C., and you could find yourself in the pokey for up to 90 days. Good thing Anthony Weiner stuck to Twitter for his constituent services. And monks, yes monks in Louisiana, must be fully licensed as funeral directors and have their monasteries in compliance before they can sell handmade wooden caskets. One wonders who would complain. But apparently there are people with clipboards and gavels who keep track of these things. A U.S. District Court judge fined a Massachusetts fisherman $500 for freeing Willie. The Bay State whale was caught in Robert J. Eldridge's nets, and the seagoing Samaritan rescued the whale and sent him off to swim free in open waters. But apparently the conscientious angler was supposed to let the creature twist and turn in his nets and wait for authorities to arrive while the whale died. But before you think it's a northern liberal thing, in Texas, every new computer repair technician, in other words, your friendly IT guy, must have a private investigator's license. Without one, they can be fined up to $4,000 and thrown in jail. So my question is, does this mean they'll all look like Magnum PI? Now that might be a law worth saving. Pondering the possibilities, I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in highly regulated New York City.